We're not here to fool around. We're here to use our time to learn math. <laughs> Yo. Now you're really testing my patience, and I want that to continue. <laughs> We're here to learn. I'm here to help you learn. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in fact not down with the sickness. Diego Riz, how are you guys doing? Good. Now how many hydrogens do I have? I have <laughs> well, that was really unnecessary. chemistry so if we take a look at what an atom actually looks like we should throw in some protons and some neutrons and then maybe an electron out there and what we'll see is a couple things will pop up now this animation in particular is just giving us a nice little visualization representation so we can kind of see okay well, how do we change element how do we change charge and how do we change mass so i'm kind of making those all in place there uh, i'm going to add a little piece on here to think about whether this is stable or unstable um, this just talks more about the nucleus itself. So if you see that button, you really don't need it for us because we're going to always have a stable nucleus as far as chem is concerned. So we could go ahead and take a look at this and we're like, okay, why is this hydrogen? Well, that's what it's telling me up here. And that comes from the amount of protons. So if we were to add two protons, well, now it's the second element or helium. And then three protons would be lithium. And what you'll notice is the mass is four because it's the three protons in there and the one neutron. So I can make the mass five, I can make the mass six, and we could kind of keep going from there if we wanted to. And the charge itself has to do with the protons equaling out the electrons. So right now we've got you know three protons hanging out in there, but only one electron. So this is a positively charged ion, as we would call it. Um, it has a mass of seven because it's got seven total particles in the center. Uh, keeping in mind the electrons are so incredibly light that they really don't have any mass. Um, for our purposes, they actually do have mass, but it's good enough for us. So if we want to neutralize this, we're going to have to add some electrons. And it will auto add them in the right spot for you. And if we go ahead and add three electrons, we just made this atom neutral. If we were to add four total, now we're making it negative because we have more negatives than positive. So put another positive in, like, oh, it's neutral, but we just changed the elements. So there's kind of three major takeaways on this is that the atomic number or the atom's number is the number of protons. The mass is always gonna be all of the pieces added together, but we don't count electrons because electrons essentially don't have mass. And it's because they're really, really small. And then charge is all about, well, what has charge? Well, neutrons don't, so we don't care how many neutrons there are. The protons are positive, the electrons are negative. If we have an imbalance, we have an overall charged substance. So as we go to start to practice this, um, you can look at it from a symbol form. When you start putting these things into place here, these little symbols start getting used. And the upper left corner always stands for the mass. The lower left is your atomic number, and the upper right is the charge. Now, what's unique is if there's no charge, oftentimes they don't even write anything. It's just assumed to be neutral. And so you can play through this and kind of walk through into a game. And we can just start very simplistic, like, uh, I don't know, this one. So this one has eight protons, nine neutrons, and eight electrons. Well, it doesn't matter what this neutron and electrons are. All I care about are the protons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Is it neutral or an ion? So that, again, we're checking charge. So I have eight positives and eight negatives. So this one's neutral. Nice. Find the element right here. Okay, so that's just one proton, so hydrogen. Is it neutral or an ion? Well, now there's no electrons on there, so I'm going to say an ion because it's not balanced out. And you get the generalized idea, and there's varying types of games you can play as you go through this, and in case you're worried, like, well, what happens if I get it wrong? So I pick this one. Yeah. Oh, so sad. And so as you go through these little games on here, it'll sort of play with, like, okay, well, how do I do this? How do I count the protons, neutrons, and electrons? And if we keep in mind, all we're really looking at is, okay, the protons are the number, that's our, the atom's number. The mass would be all the stuff I had together, but electrons don't count because they're so light. 
And the charge is just balancing out what's positive and what's negative. 